hello hello Chris Nichols retirement empire Montebello California expanding uh, big expansion here of Nichols retirement empire expanding my territory uh, doing a little walk here out of the hotel so you guys kind of the view here beautiful view uh, so you can get a little taste of the Sunshine State. We're at the Hilton Garden Inn, Montebello, California, next to a facility that um, hosts weddings, things like that. You rent it, beautiful golf course. And here is the view coming off the hill. I'll show you that a little bit closer as I move along. Yeah, I wish it was a little clearer here so you guys could see the mountains better off in the uh, foreground there. But it's a little clearer. It gets hazy here in the afternoons. You see that grass? Take a good look at that grass because that is apparently the only grass in Los Angeles. <laughs> Yeah, that was the one thing we discovered when we got off the plane and we rode over to the hotel. We're just looking around going, where's, where's the grass? There's no grass here in Los Angeles. And the uh, Lyft driver would just look at us like we're crazy. Like, what are you talking about? There's no, we live in a place where there's actually, there's grass. He's like, you mean, yeah, there's grass here. There's, and I'm like, no, there's grass, you know, it's just all concrete and buildings as far as you can see now i know why the beverly hillbillies acted the way they did everywhere we go people look at us real funny when we start talking now, now my brother-in-law of course you know how my wife talks i mean i'm i'm pretty uptown compared to them but you know, because I'm, I'm from Lookout Mountain, Northwest Georgia. You know, we're a lot more city-fied than uh, Cedar Town people. But anyway, uh, everywhere we go, as soon as we start talking, people just, <laughs> where, you, okay, where are you guys from? You know, we get the where are you from comments all the time. Um, the, one of the Lyft drivers. We, we got in his cab and there was a lot of traffic or it's not a cab it's a lift but anyway we get in with a, the lift driver and we're stuck in traffic for about an hour so the guy as soon as we get in his car he turns on some country music and <laughs> we don't after about an hour i looked at him i said man so we don't listen to country music <laughs> he goes oh okay i figured you listen to country music and I'm like, yeah, you know, I know we're rednecks and all that, but we don't, we don't really care for that. I said, unless it's really old, you know, unless you got like some Johnny Cash or something, you're getting ready. But other than that, we don't listen to country music. Now this area over here where we are is kind of out of town, you know, from Los Angeles. So it's got grass and everything, plants, very nice little area here. The other thing about living out here that I have discovered is that if you're going to live out here, you better be making a bunch of money because their rent is like two or three times. This is for a small apartment, two or three times what it costs for my house payment. Three times my house payment. These are apartments, I think. Three times my house payments. Not making fun of you by any means, but you are paying three times my house payment. And here's my biggest concern. Very concerned, very concerned. 
about this. One of these days, all these people are going to figure out, man, I could go live in Georgia for a third of the amount of money that I have to have to live out here, and they're all gonna move, all of them. I may have to edit this out, because when they figure this out, Los Angeles is gonna be deserted. They're all gonna move to Georgia, and Alabama, and Mississippi, and Arkansas, and all these places. We're gonna be swamped with all these people that are leaving California when they figure out what's really going on in the country and how cheap it is. I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep my voice down. How cheap it is to live somewhere else. And you know what all of them say when we tell them that? They go, yeah, but it's, the weather is so nice here, it's 80 degrees year round. 80 degrees year round and you are living you can't walk I mean, there, there's people everywhere there's people everywhere there's people everywhere this is outrageous yeah and their taxes are like off the chain here you would think well if they're paying all this money in taxes that you know everything would be all clean you, you know man there's garbage everywhere garbage on the side of the road garbage all over the side of the interstate is just like piled up garbage you would think since california is supposed to be like all worried about the environment and nature and taking care of people and society and all that that they would pick up their garbage but good night now i'll give people from california this these jokers can drive and they can park I have seen people parked in the craziest places. Parallel, everybody here can parallel park. And I mean, they can parallel park in some tight places. It is crazy. If this was Georgia and everybody was trying to park like these people park here, we would be running into every car. There would be so many wrecks. We would just be smashing into everything. We can barely park in just regular parking lots let alone park uh, these people are like driving machines out here they're great great drivers great drivers on the interstate i mean they're all going 90 and i haven't seen a single wreck i'm sure there are wrecks now don't get me wrong don't get me wrong i know there are wrecks on the interstate but these people are like stunt drivers sides of hip sideways 45 degree angles on two wheels straight up a hill straight down a hill top parked on top of each other i mean they're see the sides of those hills i'm surprised there aren't houses built on the sides of those hills because they sure do have them built on the sides of hills like that everywhere else i don't of course it don't rain so i guess they never have mudslides but I'm surprised there's not a house stuck right on the side of that hill right there because they sure do it everywhere else here in California. Y'all are gonna enjoy this one. On the interstate, if you are on a motorcycle here in California, Los Angeles, California, you can go between the lanes of traffic. Like when traffic is stopped, the motorcycle can just keep going wide open right between all the cars i was told there's no law against that here in california i'm just thinking my god if that was atlanta every time somebody did that somebody would be opening their door on that guy <laughs> but i mean they just fly down through there so i'm surprised there aren't more motorcycles because there's a lot of traffic but i mean the first time i saw that man i saw one fly by and i'm thinking and that guy's living dangerously. Then I see another guy fly by, and I'm just like, what is going on? Finally, we asked the Lyft driver, and he said, oh yeah, you can just drive, you know, go. You got me on video. Oh, I didn't even video that, that whole time. 
Okay, what? look where I found my wife at the store. And Miss Darlena. Hello, that was the, all the way from Arkansas. They were at the store, Miss Darlena from Arkansas. <laughs> so this is how I make this is how I make my money. I do reaction videos with my wife shopping. I make faces and I laugh and I say goofy things when she buys things and I try to talk her out of it and she buys it anyway. <laughs> wow. That's the way that works. <laughs> what a wonderful She husband. just buys whatever she wants. <laughs> yep. Just walking the streets. Walking the streets of Montebello. By myself. I see a 99 cent store and I think, I bet my wife is in the 99 cent store. She's in the store. We're shopping.